Hey everyone, we have another beauty from Huda Beauty, another beautiful palette. This is the Desert Dusk palette. I love the picture on the front. I love the jeweled headpiece. I want a diamond that's this big right in the center of my head, just like that. So to refresh your memory, here is the previous Huda Beauty palette. This is the Textured Eyeshadow Palette Rose Gold Edition. Here is the Desert Dusk. I had thought this was going to be a purple palette, um, but it really is more of a warm palette with all of these sort of rusty oranges, pumpkin spicy looking colors, the brown, the just, the, it's a very warm palette. It's a very orange based palette. There are purples in here. There's a whole row of them. These are purple right through here. And then this color up here, looks like it's just a beige or something, but it's actually a very, very light lavender, foily type metallic, very maroony, very pumpkin-y, and very warm. So that's why I tried to do a mostly warm eye today. I wanted to use more of the oranges on here and less of the purple purples. The purples are so gorgeous. I love this palette. I just am loving it. Here's the rose gold next to it. So it looks like the pans are the same size. It looks like the palette is the same size. What I found kind of strange is that um, there is one color that repeats in here and it is called Angelic. It is my favorite favorite. I just love it. It's a pink and it's a duochrome. Here it is from both of the palettes. It's a pink and it's got a gold shift to it. I love to use this as a lid color, but otherwise the rose gold one, the textures are totally different on these two palettes. The rose gold one, we had issues with the mattes feeling very dry, um, a little dry to the touch, a little gritty and sandy feeling. We don't have that with the mattes in the Desert Dusk palette. These are soft, softer than the previous palette, very pigmented and very rich. The, the metals, the metallics, are different than the metallics in the rose gold palette. The rose gold palette, we have these strangely chunky and greasy feeling, sort of um, sticky feeling glitters. We don't have that in the Desert Dusk. The Desert Dusk, the glitters are very soft and they're very, they're much less chunky and they're not that greasy feeling. They're a lot more, um, more finely milled and more held together with one exception. There is a very odd glitter on here called Cosmo glitter. It's like they put a tiny bit of moisture or oil into loose glitter and pressed it into the pan. It is super flaky. Look at that, touching it once, not rubbing it. I touched it in once. It is flaky, very much like a loose glitter. I'm a little bit afraid of this one, a little bit fallouty, a little bit crazy. So it looks totally different than any of the other shimmers in this palette. You can see the chunks of glitter in there. Formulas, but overall, this palette is really pretty. However, I, I feel like I'm seeing a lot of these same colors in other warm palettes. You know, something like this, these two colors, you know, the dark brown. I'm seeing that in a lot of these warm palettes that are going on right now. And there's also not a good inner corner sort of brightener or highlighter in this palette. I don't have a highlighter on at all today. Okay, there you go. You can see what I mean about there being a lot of orange tones on here. I do want to tell you about a few of these colors that react or act differently than others. Some of these are definite glitter toppers to put be put on top of other shades on your eyelid, not really to be worn alone. And those are retrograde right here. This one's kind of a duochrome guy, twilight this icy, icy lavender. I'm living for that. I have that on the center of my eyelid right there. And then um, we have another color down here that's called Celestial. It's a gold, yellow, got a little bit of a pink in it, duochrome. And then this next color here is called Nefertiti. Those are really to be toppers. They're really not meant to stand alone. And then of course Cosmo, that's your loose, pressed glitter right there, that very loose one. There's all sorts of things going on in here. There's that weird loose pressed glitter. There are toppers, there are, there are metals, there are mattes. We've got every single kind of texture represented here. I think this is gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. These purples are just 
mind-blowing. So here's what I did today. Okay, starting with primed, of course, eyelids. I'm going to put the color called Eden, which is a soft peach, in the crease. I'm going to dab Blood Moon on my lid. And I will put something else on top of that in just a moment. I don't want to go too far out because I'll be putting other colors out in that direction. I'm going to put the color called Oud in my outer corner. This color is really nice. It blends really nicely. It's blending easier than um, I kind of had thought it would. Taking a little of desert sand and just sort of blending this edge of this crease because the crease is this Eden is kind of dark on me. And I'm going to take my finger and pat Celestial in the center of my lid. So if you have this one, do you need this one? Definitely. I mean, these are just totally different. This is a very pink based. Got a lot of pink in there, um, a lot of pink and purple burgundies. This is very uh, warm. It's just totally different. Very warm with some purples thrown in because I think they understand that, every, that we love purples. We love our purple eyeshadows. So totally different. I do like this packaging better, I think, than this sort of clear. It's kind of, uh, this is kind of more, more nice, nicer. So if you are okay with the first rose gold palette, I think you're going to absolutely love this new Desert Dusk palette because they have improved the quality of the formula of the shadows in this. It is different. It's more improved. It's new and improved. And I love the warm tones, especially for fall coming up. And because warm tones are so trendy right now, I think you're going to like the improvements that they made to this new palette. If you want to compare the Natasha Denona, the new Purples palette with this Huda Beauty, they just don't compare because to me, this one, you have about a bajillion more eyeshadows. This one is more purple and hot pink going on. This one has more warm stuff going on. I just don't think they're, they're anything alike. As far as formulas, you just can't beat the Natasha. You just can't beat it. The feel, the texture, the richness, the intensity, and, you know, those Natasha Denona ones are just out of this world. But of course, it's twice as expensive as this one. So you make the decision there. So I'll be cleaning glitter off the back of my hand for days, but I need you guys to see this fantastic new lip stain from YSL. This is the YSL Tattooage Couture Matte Stain. And I do have one of the more nude colors. There's another nude color. I love these so much. I want to get the other color in it. This color is number 23. What is so nice about these is, first of all, they smell wonderful. YSL's lip products have their own unique smell. It's a fruity smell. It's just, it's a lot of roses in there. Just beautiful. And it is a stain. So this is not a super, it's not one of your matte liquid lipsticks. It is a stain. What this does is it just deposits a little color. It's a very moist look on your lips. No matte going on here. And it sort of dries down to a stain on your lips without staining your lips. <laughs> it stays on okay. It is not a super long wear product, but it's just such a natural, pretty flush on the lip. I put this, the other day I wore this with a lip topper just right in the center. It was actually that Kat Von D Everlasting lip topper and I just put it right in the center and it just was a subtle flush of color with just a tiny bit of shimmer with that glitter, that gold everlasting lip gl glimmer veil in just right the middle of it. I'll go ahead and put this on my lips so you can see the, the stain effect of it. It doesn't really stain your lips that badly, like a lot of stains do, but it's just a sheer pretty glow. Uh -huh. So it has this weird little flipper. And that's okay, because it's, you just flip it right on, huh? I 
it's just a pretty comfortable it feels like you're just putting um, moisturizer or something on your lips it feels really comfortable going on it smells wonderful you have good coverage it's not um, super sheer it's not like a tinted balm sheer it's pretty it feels like it's moisturizing your lips as you're wearing it too so it is a pretty light kind of stain Thanks for joining me today to look at the new Huda palette and this wonderful YSL lip stain. I'll be cranking out more videos soon and more stuff on the way. And thanks for watching.